They escaped. So what do you think so far, Yana? Is it interesting? Yeah. It's lots of like different things that that remind you of other different other things and such. So I'm curious. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind that the oh, I'll, I'll wait and say that when day when uh, Sheila gets back. I thought you were going to do the Riker thing when you get into your chair by throwing one leg over the top, you know. Um, by the way, keep in mind that the detect power pattern that she tried and failed and you succeeded in, that's a once a day skill. Oh. Oh, yeah. But you can eventually get the twice a day skill and stuff. So, and now as far as uh, Dana's, Dana's answer, Yes. I have detected power. You not not just power because you that's not the full name of that skill. The full name is detect power pattern, which I would definitely add to your skill as that's critically important. So you see you feel pattern. That's a surprise. <laughs> now um, that seems to be it that's in the kitchen, aside from normal yeah. old style kitchen appliances and Tupperware. Okay. From here, there's the pull downstairs to get in the attic, the basement, the greenhouse, the back door, and the servants' quarters. Basement. Basement, of course. Uh, can I have a consultation on English language? What does it mean on the times? On, on the, the times? It's, it's in the poem, on the times of three. Do we have to eat it with a special fork? What does the on the times mean? Uh, trying to find where you're looking at. Yeah, it's, it's like the third scrolling up in the chat you want me to read well hold on now let me get your version because oh dear yeah maybe Oh, here, I can copy and paste it in the thing. Ah. Yeah, it kind of got it buried. Thanks, yeah. that's that's what I was beginning to click around madly to do. There you go. I don't see anything about on the time. On the times. It's the third thing, I think. My roll 20 disconnected. So I need to refresh. Oh, then I will. Did you already copy paste it? Yeah, I put it in the chat. I'm not sure which part she's talking about, though. So if you copy and paste third, the line third, you're talking about. Third stanza. Yeah. Mm. A little time do you have to finish the task where you may not come back? Like, you no. a oh. short amount of time to do it. No, no, there was there was something about tines, and it made me think fork at the first time around. Hold on, I will copy paste my version, which may or yeah, may I not might be have missed same. part of it when I was copying it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep, yeah, I didn't have that in there. I'm sorry. That makes it more interesting. It's like part of the poem has disappeared, says Yana. Everybody freeze. <laughs> And I'm like, where's this line you're talking about? I'm looking over it, and I just apparently I missed part of it when I was copying it. Yeah, yeah, so Yana's trying to figure out what the three. what on the times or times means in English because you know that's yeah. that's not a common word. No, like that's on a fork. It's the little prongs. Okay. So it it could be on other things, but that's mm -hmm. so like the the pointy pointy bits, the stabby part. <laughs> okay, <laughs> stabby parts. Teamwork. Okay. 
you guys head into the basement and it looks like the basement itself is fortunately whoever's breathing in their mic please don't it looks like it's uh fortunately lit up and it's got a um uh, unfortunately it has a root cellar a larder and most unfortunately a wine cellar unfortunately though there's only three bottles of wine left in it and here's what all of that looks like i take one bottle and start drinking it excellent <laughs> She pops it open and has some wine. There you go. And there's this weird thing on the wall, the weird painting, and there's this weird symbol thing next to it. And who knows what all this stuff means? All the symbols we are seeing over and over. Did any of you take the blue pill in, in class at any point? Dana? Yes. Yeah? I believe so. And I saw a lot of visions of a lot of stuff. Do you remember that there was the, you saw all the symbols at some point, like you were floating? Yes, and then I also saw them in the back room yeah. of Clem's. So the symbols are something important too. I think it's something like with the system. I don't remember anything. Yeah, I'm not even sure if you've seen that stuff before. So yeah. they're babbling about God knows what. You're thinking. I think I had to take a pill at one point in time, but I sure just ah. really can't remember. There you go. People are always giving you new drugs to experiment with. Well, I was with Matthew McConaughey for a while there, so. You're true. I'm sure it was crazy. Yep. Is the wine good? Uh, yes. Uh, be sure to note the label on the bottle. Mm. It's, it's very evil. I like it. Mm-hmm. I will be cursed after this. Oh, now the the weird picture and stuff uh, with the lady in the white dress with all the mm -hmm. candles and stuff. The face looks like it's somebody who's kind of related to the woman who won't tell you her name and who reacts to the picture with like, mm, mm, ah. yeah, looks a bit like your daughter. I'm going to take a Sharpie out of my bag and just draw a mustache on her face. <laughs> take a card that appears to make her happy for some reason I can't figure out. Uh, uh, guys, guys. Yes. Well, uh, maybe we should, maybe we should just leave. Maybe we, we don't, maybe, maybe we don't have to explore in here. Maybe, you know, it's, maybe we don't. The poem mentioned confessions. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> but not my confessions. Probably, right? probably it is your confessions. I didn't do anything. Oh, you're not telling us a whole lot, girl. Yeah. Get the finger snaps in there. <laughs> and the head wobble thing. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't do anything. I don't know why. Why is why is it here? I look at the weird lady, looking as Janice. Well, it, it's 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 not a it's it's a fairly crude picture, so it just could be in your mind. However, you don't remember your daughter ever having such a magnificent mustache. <laughs> The, the mustache is the only thing that is calming me down. No. Yes. Um, Other than that in the basement. Out. What? Oh. I... Just struggle I, back in like a salmon going upstream. You can do it, girl. Other than I, that in the basement, there does not seem to be anything special. I look at the candles like... Does it seem like somebody is going there, lighting them, or are they just there? They're there and lit. Mm. You and don't how know. big is the painting? Uh, is that... Bigger than, it's a little bit bigger than life size. So the mag, the mustache is oh, super big. big. <laughs> is there something else? Is it like an altar or something? Or is, is it just... The whole a... room is a little bit like an altar or something, <laughs> but it's, it, it, you know, there's no actual altar or seats. It's just a 
painting on a wall, I guess. I don't like this. I try to blow out one of the candles. Certainly, it extinguishes. It, the whole basement is just a little bit darker now. We could just bend the painting. It's painted. It's it's painted on a rock wall. So unless it's like a really flammable rock wall, you're probably out of luck. Mm. Well, well, I shouldn't be surprised because I think we are like in the wall, and the wall is her. So why am I freaking out? I don't know. Why are you saying this? What, you want to what? <sighs> she is the wall. She Your is. daughter is his house? Yeah, maybe. And I just drew a mustache on her. <laughs> hey, I am here. You wanted this, right? You wanted me. I am here. I will take care of you. <laughs> no reply I... at all. <sighs> Kids, you know, they are not great for at all. You, you care for them so good. You like, you really pay attention to them, spend every day, then every day with them. And they did, are- Did you? <laughs> <laughs> of, of, shut up. <laughs> I'm a good mother, you know. So. <laughs> I How many have... children do you have? I don't have any children, okay? We How many children don't... did you have? I had zero children. Let's let's just move on. This, this is making me feel weird, okay? We don't know each other that well. You are good. I like want to skin people. Hmm. You had a bottle of wine, dude. People open up after wine. Yeah, but this is You're like... a little inhibited here. This is like nothing, you know? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to crack open another bottle of wine for her. Mm. Hand it over. Ah, thank you. Now yeah. I have to. You have to give me your alcohol tolerance roll versus getting just a <laughs> little opened up. <laughs> uh, where are we? My character sheet is loading slowly. It's just attempting to build dramatic tension. Yes. Oh, yeah. You're Damn fine. it. Apparently, yeah. she has been, people have been trying to open her up a lot, apparently. So she's been building her alcohol tolerance. Uh, well, if, if, like, this looks like some sort of, like, white, white people, maybe, maybe, like, some, some hideout of the rest of the white people that weren't killed off or something. They could do creepy things like this. But that's a long time ago. I don't know why would anyone do it now. And I don't know why, why would she do it. She like build a temple for her. Well, let's go explore the rest of it, I guess. So in the basement, like the root cellar and wine cellar, is that all just like sections of the same big room? Yep. You have thoroughly investigated the basement to your complete satisfaction. The root cellars, are there some uh, snacking potatoes? Yes, you managed to find a potato to gnaw upon if you wish. Delicious. Uh, after you perfectly like good pasta, right, in your Tupperware. Mm. Sheila, can you do the Scott Mike shuffle? I know. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> eventually we'll get, eventually, you, hopefully we'll convince you guys to get a real mic. It'll be awesome. Oh, but what's the thrill? Yeah. What's the frustration? What's the yeah. After you guys go upstairs to the kitchen, other places off of this include the pull down stairs to the attic, the kind of you pull down and then the ladder thing can slide out, or the greenhouse, or the back door, or the servants' quarters. Greenhouse, maybe? 
Greenhouse is super, you want to do the attic? And super quick. Uh, of course I want to do the attic, but... The only interesting thing in the greenhouse, there's a lot of dead plants and stuff, but one of the pots has this strange symbol upon it, whatever it means. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> do you want me to do it for you? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, usually well, it's her husband Scott that does a lot of sighing, so she's taking over sighing duties. It's the uh, <laughs> defeated. Mm. There's a lot of symbols. Um, well, we saw well, way too many symbols. <laughs> yeah. And they all logically make sense too. Is the real kicker. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, other than that, there's nothing in the greenhouse. Uh, so your other options include the pull down stairs for the attic, servants quarters, or back door. Attic. Something super weird, and because I can't see it, um, but the picture of the tarot card painting that we saw, does this moon phase thing, do you think that that has something to do with her? Well, what did you call her? Here, I'll put it back to... Is it the priestess? Here's what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like her hat. Pretty baller hat. Take a take it's a card for making connections and stuff there, Dana Zool. Yes. Now, is that making connections or attempting to? Roll empathy on Logan. <laughs> I think it's making connections because the high priestess cap I think was used to um, to symbolize her, either her or her mother. I'm not sure now, but one of them. Um, play immediately. No trading. Everyone immediately discards two cards. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. Everybody at the end of that should be at two cards, except for Dana, who will be at one card because she has to get rid of two cards. One of her cards was the red card, and then she'll have one card left over. I play Source of Disappointment Explorer. Okay, you said I'm, I'm left with one card? Yes. And that card that I am going to keep is patriotism. Say something Ooh. patriotic and refill my hand. Mm, please. Okay. Please do. So, all hail Genovia. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Sounds good. And no red cards on the refill. Mm. Genovia, the place I call my home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I've got a Spark of Divinity card. Mm, wow, you are racking up some good shit. And I'm playing that on willpower. Because <laughs> you all know I need it. Okay. Let me know when you guys are done with card play, and I'll flip you back over and show you what's in the attic. Is that it for card play? Uh, yes. Puzzle my end. Puzzle top. Okay, and up in the attic, you guys crawl up the thing, and there's a lot of weird miscellaneous stuff up there, which looks like this. Oh, motherfucker, no. No, 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 no. Wow. You recognize some of these things? Do you have them in your house? <laughs> uh, I know that one blew my cabin. Which, the Elvis? No, the big head. Oh, yes. It's about it's about the size of a um, bowling ball. Y'all, like this is statuette. aliens. That right there? That's aliens. 
Okay. Blew up my town, set my, my shit on fire. It, it, that, that is aliens, friends. Mm, okay. Aliens might happen. Um, this is less scary than I expected. Yeah, the Elvis painting, I would like to point out that's painted on black velvet for some reason. <laughs> mm. If you want to tell her the significance of that, Sheila, if you know it, uh, because, you know, being being yeah. Czech, I don't think she runs into a lot of black velvet paintings. You no. Know, it's a, a terrible art form that you find at little diners. At least this is my experience with velvet paintings. Okay. Usually the type where, you know, like the cherry pie that's been sitting in the window for a few weeks. And then there's maybe like for a price tag on the, you know, on the artwork on the walls. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a pretty good summary. summary. And there's a few sombreros and some of those weird looking. Uh, the thing above the sombrero is a different kind of weird looking hat. And the last thing is a bumper sticker. And the first thing is apparently something used in, you know, for babies or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it appears I have one of those for my kid. Okay. Or for charm. You have a hamster for a child. Interesting. <laughs> Guys, uh, happy Mother's Day to you both. <laughs> it's a gigantic hamster thing. Mm. Yeah, the crib dribbler. Yeah, some good Yikes. stuff. Other than that, there does not appear to be anything upstairs in the attic. Fun with Jitsi, am I right? <laughs> okay, uh, so you said the servant's quarters, yes? Yes. Okay, uh, the thing you're going to ask, what's that thing on? It's just like a teddy bear doll or something. And... Let's see, in the first poster, it's uh, some sort of, uh, uh, it's like a poster on the wall. The second thing is a stick with like weird material on it. Third thing is a coupon from Spatula Cities. Buy 11 spatulas, get the 12th for just a penny. And the fourth thing is some sort of medallion on like a doll, you know. Because Spatula City rocks. How long is this stick with the stuff tied around the top? Um, it's about maybe as tall as you, somewhere in there. Can I like strap it to my pack? Not easily at all. It will definitely get in the way every opportunity possible. You could carry it around like a stick, but you know. It also looks as though it's made to be made like this, but I don't know if you would know what it is. It looked like a torch to me. Like I was supposed to light the top part. No, it's it's kind of looks like uh, rough cotton on the top part. Is it a cleaning thing? If it is, it's the worst cleaning thing ever. It reminds me of the Swiffer things. Yeah, yeah. I guess you could use it for that. Well, it's something from some place we know. Yeah. All, of these are, <laughs> yeah. all of these things are from some places we know. Well, actually, uh, everybody give me memory rolls. See if you remember seeing this before. You have definitely okay. never seen this before, Nora. Really? You thought I passed it? What? Oh, yeah, you passed it. Uh, Dana has not seen one before. Uh, it's bugging you because it looks old to timey. And uh, even the woman who won't tell you what? her fucking name has not seen it before. Uh, this is something new something exactly. new and when you pick it up by the way uh emily you can feel power here Ooh. 
How do you feel? Is it powerful? A little zappy. Ooh. A little zappy make daddy happy. Mm. <laughs> All right. And other than that in the servants' quarters, uh, no telling what that weird uh, triangle type thing is. Of course, the coupon from Spatula City may come in handy. I'm throwing in my bag with my other coupon for Sea Monkeys. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 sea Monkeys and Spatulas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does there seem to be anything in the teddy bear? Is it? Would you like to feel it or rip it apart? I you can borrow my knife. Uh, sure, give me a feel roll as you begin molesting the poor, helpless teddy bear. Yep. Probably there's something in there. Okay, I wait. fumbled. I got it. You, what, what was it you said? Spatulas and what? Sea monkeys. Got it. Thank you. Right. Uh, if there is anything... Oh, oh no. God. Right. She She's like... She's beginning to do it like, uh, where can you show us on the doll where the bad man, that kind of thing. And you guys are like <laughs> leaning back, open their eyes, and she's like, he touched me here in my heart. You're like. I will take the little medallion. All right. Make a note of it. And that it's from the servants' quarters. Okay. Cool. Then you guys go check out the back door. Yeah. Um, there, next to the back door, on hooks, are three large-headed rabbit suits. They're <laughs> hanging there. No. <laughs> refuse. Refuse. <laughs> and uh, there's also this sign at the back door. Okay. Mm. Let's not do that yet. Maybe. Yeah, we have a whole nother gallery. Yeah, like we don't know if the sign is like means if it's true, but maybe not risk it. When we went to the greenhouse, did we look out the windows? Like, could we see the sky and stuff? Ah, you saw like this evil fog thing. It was these <laughs> weird skulls that form and unform going through it. And you're Stop thinking, yeah, going outside. yeah, yeah, it, it didn't look really hospitable. It's the wall, it's fine. All right, <laughs> 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 um, so we'll just, uh, we'll just uh, put a pin in this door and yeah. get a... back. Now, the my little coin with that symbol, that symbol is, I think, the first one that I took note that it repeated and it was down in the wine cellar was right here. Where was it on in the in the wine cellar? Ah, here, I'll show you the wine cellar picture again and you can tell me. Oh, wait, you're on the wine cellar picture. Yeah. Where where was it printed on? Oh, it, it, sorry, it's just a symbol on the wall. Okay. You read I'm gonna the run right down there. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gonna go around down there and just see like, is there any place to insert a coin? That's a brilliant thought. Take a card. There's not. <laughs> oh yeah, clever ideas. Better than um, molesting a helpless teddy bear, you monster. But you know, the teddy bear. Shows him <laughs> like putting a teddy bear against the wall. Work, work. <laughs> Tell us the secrets. I know you can talk. There's got to be a voice box. Hmm. Let's go to the part of the house we didn't explore yet. Take that. No problem. You guys backtrack your way all the way back to the Ooh. Eastern Gallery. Huh? What? Hmm? Question. Bef before we go down there, I just want to peek my head in the coat closet, make sure homeboy's still there at this room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, 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 with the kind of tying job that uh, Dana did to him, he, he, if his, if his uh, 
hands and feet could have like turned white from blood loss they would have but they still appear to be blue so i guess he's fucking fine right fucking anyway. i mean as long as he didn't like try to chew his arms off like a fox and trap or something you know yeah no no he just he, he's managed to uh flop his way to the opposite side of the room that the dead body is i pushed the other body next to him okay. yeah. right that gives him something to do for the next couple hours um, <laughs> I'll take a card for just being mean. Um, <laughs> it does appear to impress the woman who, who, who's not telling her name. You guys head on down the Eastern Gallery. and All right, so back to the other wing. Yeah, uh, Eastern Gallery. Eastern yes. Gallery, very well. Hanging on the uh, wall, you see these. Uh, they're stuffed, by the way, and completely life-sized. Uh, yes, another example of people's cruelty to animals and such. Uh, everybody give me uh, zoology rolls to know what kind of creature that is, unless you want to just uh, say it, and I'll give you a card for just knowing what it is off top of your head. I'm it's a bobcat. Yeah, no, take a card. Yes, yes. Grab cards for knowing it's about okay. Yeah. So if you want to make the zoology though to get a check in it, feel free. I but I remember he knows. Mm. Check it. Now from the Eastern Gallery, <clears throat> you can either go down a different long narrow corridor or into the living room slash drawing room. Ooh, drawing room. You're just saying that because you like art. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> You guys head into the living room slash drawing room. Here's some pictures. And a little description. Uh, navy blue carpet. There's a statue of a guy with a trident. There's couches and such. Also, everything is lit up in here. There's no need for flashlights and all this stuff, which is great. Nice. Poseidon. Pardon? Now, Poseidon. Poseidon? Okay. No, no. Side in. Oh. Side in. From here, there's several other exits as well, going to a study, bedrooms, a billiard, and a billiard room, and of course, back to the Eastern Tower. But so enjoy. Well, Poseidon is the god of sea. So mm -hmm. it's with the bathroom. Can I do a quick perusal of the books? Certainly. Yeah, but maybe you like a research. It's supposed to destroy. Uh, no, <laughs> not, not a research. Like... You, you just check out the books. They appear to be just, you know, the history of poetry, volume 17, you know, that kind of thing. Is it more Scottish poetry? No, unfortunately, uh, yeah, there was only the one good book of Scottish poetry. Well, damn. He was the only Scottish poet ever. Not accurate. <laughs> no, no, his poetry is the best. Can you lend me 20 quid till next week? I will gladly pay you tomorrow for a hamburger today. <laughs> yeah. Except it's haggis. It's some... <laughs> is there something else in the room? Uh, no, other than exits, that's it. All right. Um, I like my fork idea for the tines, but Sidon also has tines. Truth. Are you saying that you've got too much oh, tines yeah. on your hands? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> on the tines. Can we like Bertha? It's a big old statue, and Can yes, we? yes, it's, it's totally reachable to like on his face or whatever you want. It says to dissect it. Can we take the trident off of him? That's uh, take a card. That's brilliant. No, it appears to stay where it's at. I mean, unless you were like, I will break this stone by biting it or whatever. Yeah, unless you're going to extreme measures, it stays here. You know, I want to take my Tupperware out and put some of the noodles around the, clothes. the trident. Okay, yes. you've, you've got them on there. Give me a cult roll. Okay. Everybody can try a cult. 
You look. You guys look at the kind of now slightly glowing blue spaghetti. That it is slightly glowing now, so that's maybe good or maybe bad. <laughs> By a quarter. Dana, there's definitely some stuff missing from this. You feel that it's it's partially right, but there's other shit missing, and you don't know what yet. Milk. I share with the milk. other ladies. There's something missing in our recipe. Dana, pour some milk on it. Mm. Uh, well, I don't think the milk is working. Either that or a frozen dinner. Because in the poem it says that on the times of three, so maybe it needs to be. Well, that's. But what? What else? To, I don't know. Okay, so I felt power coming off that staff mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, but why? Why would we put that there? I don't know. It says rebirth and power <laughs> can there be checked off of the times of yeah, three. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, maybe we can try it just to see if something happens. What do you want to try? You want to like hit it with it or something? Just touch it in there. Just to like. <laughs> When you, when you touch it to it, some of the white shit off of the top of your stick with white shit on it kind of gets stuck to the uh, like pointy bits. And when you move them apart, then the whole thing's kind of glowing and it's got some of the blue and some of the white. And it's between your weird stick thing and that thing. And you're like, this must mean something. But you don't know what. Question. What would happen? Sorry, go ahead. How does it look like the... It, it kind of looks like... Uh, it looks like blue and white strands are between the stick thing and the trident thing. Try move, try to move a little bit, if, how it reacts. It, it just seems to get longer, and if she moves toward it, it gets shorter on its own. Okay. There's definitely something up here. You feel as though you're closer to what's up, but you don't. You're like, hey. you've got you've got a good part of it. Everybody, take a card. Is this fills you with confidence and hope, which may be completely false. Only to crush your dreams later. But for now, you feel pretty good about it. Hmm. Okay. So bear with me here on my thought process. But okay. what if back to the card? Page. We took the blue guy. And impaled him up on the trident. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> but what if uh, it wrecks him or something? I mean, it's just like it's missing, like we didn't have enough. So yeah, that was just like part of a blue guy. So if you get a whole blue guy. It makes sense. But uh, what, what the poem says that you can like gain a rebirth here. And I don't want to like give him powers. I mean, I still have another bullet. Uh, Okay, fine, you're right. Just wanted to impale the damn thing. I like the idea, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said, but... I'm just sitting over here grumbling and Dana's just shaking her head. You know, Dana, it's really alarming to watch the two of them bonding over torture. I just, I need answers. Mm -hmm. um, just because it's another fun. thing in my pocket. I hold my coin up there. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, it does not appear to interact with the stuff. Now, if you are, you, so currently the stuff on your stick still seems, the blue and white stuff seems a lot more intertwined than you would have thought, but they are definitely intertwined now. And some of it's on the trident, some of it's on our stick and it's weird because it's kind of like if I get closer, it seems to kind of contract into itself. If I get further, it seems to go out, and you're not sure what to do next. So I'm gonna touch it with your hand. Yeah. With what the strands of stuff? Yeah. Give me an essence roll. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Make it low, make it, make it sexy. 
Where's essence? Uh, up in the it's stats with your willpower, sanity. Oh, okay. Hold on. I got to flip over to the other page. Um, ah. I... It's kind of almost ethereal, like you, your hand kind of goes through it, and you're like, mm -hmm. it's kind of ghostly a little bit. I want to touch weird cotton candy hey. needles. No. Right. Yeah. Now, Yana, keep in mind your, your sense pattern thing. You only do that once a day. Oh, that's the one. Okay. Yeah. I, I it's a different one from oh, yeah. no. Okay. No, Sorry. No. I didn't make it anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it it seems to be completely ethereal. I also try to touch it. Sure, give me an essence roll. Lower is better. Uh, not, not you guys good. are not really great at essence, except Dana is, but it's failing her today. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I've got a reroll card. Let's try mm -hmm. that essence. Nice. Do you is want a skill a, plus five card on top of it? But is it a times what? Well, roll? whenever I say lower is better, always mash the times five button because then that gives me a variety of different results. So okay. just mash the, the times five. If you're playing a skill plus card, then we'll take that into account when we see the numbers. I, like, I am kind of decent at times five. Let's just save that for when we got to do something. Else. Are you kidding? Awesome. Second fuck. Awesome. <laughs> right, I'm going to try to reroll too. Hold on. I'm guessing that we're missing a third ingredient since there's times of three. Hello. Yeah, I was thinking that too. But... All right. It wasn't a fumble, so much better at touching things than I am. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, for Dana's fumble, she takes off her backpack and throws it to the floor by accident somehow. <laughs> um, Do you Emily, you're not sure. Your your hands are still going through it. You don't know what's up with this shit. It appears to be mystical. And you, you for some reason, your camera got real blurry. I don't know why. You're now blur girl. Yeah. But I can still see you, so that's something. So it's processor slowly melting inside of our computer. Like, I can't have no pictures. Oh, yeah. My hard drive wants to explode. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dana, do you want to pick up your backpack and be happy yeah, that was your only fumble? Yeah, shuffle back over and yeah. <laughs> it It's not a bad fumble for the fumble deck. No, it's not. Okay. Um, now, you, you do have a unique new problem because the if you want to take your stick with you, then these strands seem to get longer and longer. Hell yeah. Um, okay. It eventually, it's going to be like old uh, corded telephone through the wall. Yeah. Eventually, you get to uh, the point where you just, you, you yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck. Super long. And she's got like five meters of fucking shit out and it just won't keep going. The stick thing's stuck. You're not sure what's up. Oh, er, by the way, everybody give me a history roll at a really difficult difficulty because this is. Super hard. Hmm. History. Well, you've always felt, Dana, if it didn't happen after internet was invented, invented it's just not worth knowing. Oh my gosh. I'll get it all out of the way now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody else goes. So if later you say, but Logan, wouldn't I have known that such and such was such and such? Just remember these rolls right here, ladies. Okay, so what are you going to do with your weird stick thing? Ah, I guess I'm just going to lean it up against the fucking wall for an hour or something. There you go. All right, done. Um, from here, there's a study, a billiard, a billiard room, or back to the Eastern Gallery, or bedrooms. I'm wondering if the stick isn't something with like time. Wasn't it in like some old 
alt myths or something that it symbolized time, something like that. Hmm. I don't know. Cool. So, which room would you like to go to? Uh, ladies? What, what is the choice? Uh, um, we've study. got a study. Sorry, go ahead. Study, bedroom, billiard room. Um, you want to play some pool? Why yeah. Not? I got nothing else right now. You guys head okay. into the billiards room so you can get some pool on. And in on the billiards room pool table is the symbol. And then the weird rock thing is a weird big rock thing. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Ah, your connection to the server has been interrupted because yeah. your neighbors are attempting to download as much porn as they can. Yeah, what else are you doing in quarantine? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So much porn. That symbol there is the one in the middle of the pool table. Okay. Didn't you guys all see that? Yeah. Yeah. What's the pattern on your, your little jewel piece again? Um, It's a, like, three with a circle around it. Okay, so it wasn't uh, so spinny it, like the rock? It could potentially be. Do you guys see the weird rock and stuff now? Is everybody mm -hmm. seeing it? Okay. Yes. okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure you could see stuff. Oh, other exits out of this room either include the games room or the trophy room. Games room. Don't want to play pool first? I didn't see any balls on the table. Uh, they're in the pockets. They're the old fashioned kind where you have to go empty each individual pocket. Dana, you want to play around the pool? Yes. Both of, you give me your, both of you guys give me your play pool role, please. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get it just shows them scratching the shit out of the fucking uh, green velvet thing. That symbol, though, does. Uh, I don't know if. Um, uh the woman who won't give her name remembers her or not but you can try a memory roll yes like i remember all of the symbols but just don't know from where and yeah ah god this one was a really important one that came up a few times and unfortunately <laughs> just never made a note of it but Oh, wow. Uh, it looks like Emily wins the game of pool by pretty much Dana managing to sink her own white ball into the pocket enough times that, you know, so. Multiple yeah. times. Good, good deal. Deep ball uh, victory. Woo! Yeah. So. Uh, well played. Well played. Yeah. Uh, which is next, the games room or the trophy room? I think she games. did not want to be named. So it said games. All right, you guys head into the games room where you find some interesting stuff. Well, there's interesting stuff all over this house, but the first picture is what the games room looks like. The second picture is some sort of really old fashioned tape measure. Third picture, everybody give me a Cthulhu Mythos roll. I know nothing about Cthulhu. Oh, wow, that, that makes life a lot safer. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know what's up with that. Now, everybody give me a spot a hidden roll for something interesting. Yes. On that weird tape measure thing, those who make it, right, Mildred goes over and knocks it off the table like, Rah! like I'm a cat, <laughs> Rah! it's off the table, right? But just before she knocked it off the table, uh nora noticed and she got the good roll that there's like this red line like you know if, if you were to take like a magic marker and draw it across the uh the tape measure so you could remember a certain measurement 
but it seems to kind of just be moving at random back and forth on its own. And then Cat Girl comes over and goes, meow, knocks it off the table. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> stop. Somebody <laughs> like I'm going to pick up the tape measure and check it out. All right. Yeah. Give me an essence roll. Is it times five or just? Yeah. Match the match the time. Always match times five button unless I go, give me an essence times three or specific number. Okay. Yeah. Son of a. Feels good. <laughs> Y'all, I swear there was like this red marker on here that was just moving. You can and see it. It's still doing it. Still doing right. it. Like, hey, y'all, then do you see this red marker? <laughs> May I take a look at that? Cat girl claims not to know what you're talking about. Critical. Wow, you could feel power just throbbing off of this uh, item, whatever the fuck it is. Oof. It appears to be Thrive. a tape measure. Well, not in that way, but yes, definitely powerful. Does it say, is there a mark on it of units at all? Uh, yes, there's a lot of different units marked on the throbbing. No, wait, no, stop it. Stop it. Anyway, yes, there's different hash marks and stuff, but this red thing just seems to kind of be moving around on its own. You are not sure exactly what the deal is, but it definitely feels like it's some sort of powerful item. Feels powerful. You should probably hang on to it. Yeah. Don't give it to the cat girl. I put it. In, I, I put it in my pocket, thinking that let's see if we can twist this around with our other twisty stuff. Okay. <laughs> the twisty stuff. From there, the only way out is back to the billiards room. But from the billiards room, you can go to the trophy room. Yeah. Yeah. I officially, I officially hate my notes because I did find the symbol, but the only thing I have written next to the symbol is symbol on the letter. But there is not which letter it was, yes. <laughs> what was in the letter. That's so awesome. Oh, what does it mean? <laughs> so cool. But, but it's on the page with, with like all the important things like about firewall and ghost wheel and such so it's important <laughs> perfect that's perfect i love it i couldn't have asked for better now yeah. the uh the cryo chamber that you guys find in the trophy room looks like it's a mock-up not real you know made, mostly made of plastic and shit and there's nobody inside um the life-size painting there of the guy with a lot of oranges and stuff looks uh super well done the uh skull that you recognize with the horn on top of its head does not appear to be a real one because you've seen real ones and again there's multiple i count at least three different symbols that despite being really good at art i'm betting that the woman who has no name has not drawn out or if she has she's painstakingly drawn out and then not labeled it because that way she can keep things challenging for her